Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon, Commissioners, and good afternoon, members of the audience. We are ready to proceed with the next witness. Thank you. I, Ansumana Sajo. Nte, Ansumana Sajo. De Ansumana Sajo. Do swear. Nan Calico. Nan Calico. I'll speak the truth. Between Alephon. Between Alephon. The whole truth. Tonya Drum. Tonya de Mambor for you. And nothing but the truth. At a Calafenti for Tonya. Calafenti for Tonya de Mamma. So help me God. Alma Ale Marco. Alma Ale and Lima work the whole month. Good afternoon, Mr. Sajo. Itinyang, Mr. Sajo. Thank you for agreeing to testify today before the TRRC. Abaraka Bake, Isontanya Minkanasi, Diaro, the TRRC, Nyati Lingola. We have met on previous occasions, and as you know, my name is Sagar. Ni Benta Nune, Chinyajaba, and Nunga Bedame Yalon, Nekontetom Sagar Leti. And I will be the counsel leading you in your questioning today. And I will ask you questions um, on behalf of the commission. I would like you to sit comfortably in your chair. Um, if you want, you can lean back and draw the microphone close to your mouth. This is so that you don't have to lean forward when you're speaking. It is, um, it is also important to speak through the microphone so that we can all hear you very clearly. Please also be mindful of the fact that we have interpretation going on in the background. Your testimony is not only going to be interpreted in the Mandinka language, but other local languages as well. I would therefore encourage you to make very brief statements. And I will interrupt you from time to time with additional questions. In order to get more information from you. I will also like to remind you that because your testimony is on oath, you have a duty to tell the truth. I hope that um, you understand clearly everything that I have explained to you. Yes, sir. Okay, um, the reason we've called you here today is because we want you to tell us everything that you know about the day the witch hunters came to Makumbaya. Captured you and took you away. We want you to tell us what happened um, at the destination where you were taken forcibly. In particular, we would like to know what human rights violations you may have suffered there. What was done to you? And the impact um, that has had on your life. We also understand that after this incident, 
nata faham ko kabri ñu ko wol botaje you were arrested nate mu tale fa we would also like you to tell us what happened and how that came about mbele fa lay nga wofa nan ka ca mu ne keta wo nata ñaadi le are you ready to proceed with your testimony ci la be da mi be pare la pour ka cede ya roke ah bari da we yes, have about 30 minutes or so and then we will start um, with the introduction into your testimony and then we'll take a lunch break and then come back to continue sa ko munta ko nga muntoro ñu di tan sa bali soto pour ñi ñi ni kay fangola ka long juma la mi teti ci saaje nimbo tawoto do rong ci tan kontong kontong la what are your full names itondi itoni kontong ito tetong alkali ansmana sajo my name is alkali ansmana sajo where were you born nguluta munto makumbaya makumbaya can you tell us the date of your birth if you know la wulu sangoy so fono mole ba ni atra ya lonne 1959 1959 and where do you currently reside ci lay be sabatini munto le be tembo munto still now me makumbaya ntai Up to now, I am at Makumbaya. And can you tell us um, what your profession is? Mune la do kodi ni sa funo mole. There do come drive him. Mumper. Drive him. I'm a driver by profession. And are you currently working right now as a driver? Silang wo drive ya la ibol to hand for sign. No, in five years we go no go to drive him. Man drive him go to. The last five years, I am not driving. And can you tell me um, whether you remember the day the witch hunters came to Makumbaya? Lan fa sa funo molie ko koy hakilo bu la lumi na ñi mool na te koy na ta boamu tol na Makumbaya. Ah yeah maybe to mando a ñongo ndo ñongo mu dano la. Bare la na on sepens a dal ye mu ya ro ngodal mu mu defo ñi. Maybe I cannot remember the exact date but uh, well what happened I can narrate some uh, I can narrate part of that. We are told that um, the witch hunters came to Makumbaya in 2009. Is that something you're able to confirm? Yeah, sata mule yanko. Nimbua motalale nata Makumbaya 2009 sangul. Aketa wole nyama ba? Okay, aketa wole nyama. Yes, that's how it happened. During or rather in 2009, um, can you tell us who you were living with in Makumbaya? La wo 2009 sangul. Safu no moli eti ni jumali be sabatini nungi makumbaya. Awel safu wanda la mali bena dogula dogula kadi nde benyo tuola. I can say that I was alone at my working place. Me, I I used to pound uh, uh, kuz. Um, the question is, who were you living with in makumbaya? Ini jumali be sabatini makumbaya ni lafta wole. Ila swoko no ini jumali be siri nyoka. Awel wanda ni namu choni na dimbali. myself my wife and my children and how many children did you have at the time edi ngelle soto wato a dem pula ane na na kulu di ni o kamba no ro ma ta o kono min dal tan i had my own two children my own biological children are two and there was one who was entrusted to me can he's, you tell can you now, tell us he is now grown up sorry mr interpreter yeah. can you just repeat it he said he has two biological children and one was entrusted to him who has grown up now all right thank you and can you tell us roughly what the ages were at the time you were taken away chilang ni hakilo se bula kabiri be samba kan wato wo ila wo dindingolu ani min be bulu be sangi jellela no ani mo fulo wo be be grade grade 11 ani ibe sanjo mento ibe wulu samo a wel in ne ke wa ma o be wa 12 years in ni ma we ten years that The elder one was 12 years old and the younger one was 10 years. So they were all of school going age. Kamata ko baby nun karamungo to taka nun karamungo to. Ah ah e kada han say be karamungo to. Yes they were all going to school. You have already told us that the day the witch hunters came you were at your workplace. Can you tell us where that was? Sina ya fu nun mole ni kabri ni mol na ta ni buwa motalal na ta yetari la doku la. La wo doku la be mun tole. da do gulla be sa de sa de te ma far ga ku na da da ko do sa de sa de mo la ma ci ngolo well where i walk is in the middle of the village just near the alkalis compound because it's a pounding machine which belongs to the whole village and were you doing this in addition to your driving um 
responsibilities. Okay, because what the me me company do, my company farm, me me what do, me na do go get five o'clock on Monday that on 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 continue. Yes, I was working at my farm as a driver, but when I close from that work at five o'clock, then and I come and continue with this other job. So tell us what happened um, on that on that day. Sila asata moli mune keta ulungu kabiri yu mo futa tema. Ah. Because I was not aware when these people came into the village because when you are working with a machine where, where there is a lot of noise, you cannot hear a lot of things outside. That's how they came and I was not aware of it. Did you later become aware, and how did you become aware? When I pounded the uh, coos, which was inside the machine, up to a uh, finishing point, uh, I, I put off the machine. And the moment I put off the machine, shortly, a soldier arrived there, but that soldier also is, is an indigen of Makumbaya village. What was the name of the soldier, if you know? Soldier to Nia Long Safunoba. His name is Dembo Jaju. Okay, please go ahead. Silang continue. Nia Sata Mineketa. Okay, Bilen, we Nanga Machuma father and Machuma Fitaka, what I didn't Nanga Machumbozo. When I put off the machine, I was cleaning it. That was the time when he entered the premises. He asked me, Alkali, are you responsible for this machine? I said yes. He told me, you are doing a good job here for the villagers. Because before they will take up their coups from here to Brikama or Serakunda, it's easier here. Because he is my junior, I know we used to joke around those times. But truly speaking, uh, at that time, I was not aware of what was happening in the village. Because where my machine was located, is a little bit further away from uh, uh, the Bantaba, which looks like from here towards the last shop there. Okay. Yes, after discussing with him, I said, yes, I am running this place. That's the time he told me that yeah, we are doing a good job. But for him, Truly speaking, I cannot say that he came with these people, but I cannot also say that he didn't come with them. But what the elders say, when a hyena crosses a place and a goat gets lost, that's what gave me a lot of thinking. This is a Mandinka proverb. So, we work in the when it happened like that, at each other, he went. Can I just interrupt you at this point and get some more um, clarification as to the proverb that you just said? Are you saying that you suspected that he was part of the witch hunter group? The reason for saying this here is that I suspected. I didn't tell him that. So can you tell us when you first encountered the witch hunters? When he left my place, just within 15 minutes, these people came and arrived there. By that time, I had already put some coups inside the machine. 
So because people pull out, you pull out, you pull out, you do be operating, and you do be anto, you 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 do be Well, it is two systems there. One is the founder. The other one is where uh, uh, the machine uh, uh, cleans the the, the cools. Well, they do they do they do they do that. But if I may say, they do that. But if I but you don't believe in that, you don't. No, come and you will. So that's the time when they came and entered and stood behind me. I didn't even see them at the time. But it just, I just felt it on my body that something is amiss. Then I looked behind. That's the time I saw them. So that, so that was the time when I saw them. So that was the time when I saw them. So that was the time when I saw them. So that was the time when I saw them. So that was the time when I saw them. So that was the time when I saw them. So that was the time when I saw them. So that was the time when I saw them. So that was the time when I saw them. When the course was completely founded, I put off the machine. So because if I wanted to talk to them at the time when he was trying to talk to me, the course in the machine uh, might create a problem because if the, uh, the, the container gets overloaded, it might cause a problem for the machine. That was the time. That was why he was talking to me. I was unable to respond to him. But the moment the co the pounding uh, uh, co was completed, I put off the machine. That was the time. Time I turned and faced him. He told me the lady who came in here. Where is she? I asked him here. He said, yes. But he was speaking in Fula. So I also replied to him in Fula. That's the time he asked me whether I'm a Fula. I said, no, I am not a Fula. He repeated, where is the woman who came in here? I told him that I didn't see any woman here. And the told him that I didn't see any woman here. And truly speaking, I was not aware of that. Because when I'm facing the machine, I have to pay attention to the machine, and I have no eyes behind me to see what was happening behind me. I concentrated on the job going on. So it seems as though um, this man that you're describing came into your workshop to ask for a particular lady. Yes, that's how it happened. And he claimed that this lady had actually come into your workshop, but you're saying you did not see her. Yes. Did he tell you the name of the lady? He wouldn't know the name of the lady because they chased her from the Bantaba. She was selling in the market and that's where she was from. With her pan. She came and placed her pan near me, which I was not aware of. Then she ran away. And you don't know this lady? And you don't know this lady? Yes, I'm coming. Then she told me the lady who entered your place here and placed this pan here. If she doesn't come, we will take you. We were saying all this in Fula. Because I am speaking Mandinka, that's how I am fluent in Fula. So what do you think about that? Because you don't have to go to the That's the time I repeated to him that this woman, really, I didn't see her. Nia nyo sabaje, nia nyo sabaje, nia nyo sabaje. There was an argument between us. It all started. Then they left. And the next trip again. They came back minutes. again. Uh huh. What you mean? In twenty minutes. In twenty minutes they came back. Let me just ask you some questions to understand um, what you're trying to say. Um, can you give us some more description about this man who came in, or this man rather who came in looking for this lady? How were they dressed? 
pour il a yedu imu du fin si fanya de le dunu ah ni o ga ndira mo sa ko ni o ba du ta lol non ko ko comme ça ya fulo da ko da ko da ben fulo tema fulo na da na na ni o boro na ni ya ni boro na ko ni o boro a se a se jajal tan 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 jali alla e da wodi reso ga dero to min ge comme ça ni ni na ko wule wol ani ni kuru wol Just take it in short statement so that the interpreter can follow The tribe I came from, we are bantamates with fullers. So, but according to the culture, the type of things the fullers wear when they are going for wrestling and when they are going for their other cultural norms, this is the type of dress they, they wear. So it looks like that's the type of hat and dress they were wearing. Please describe to us, um, for example, what the color of the dress was, whether it had any particular decorations, and the, the hat as well. What was the shape of the hat, and what decorations did it have? ani na fo be di sem na fo muni e fata ya baransan wo mga de kam da ko ko e kunan ko tiol e kam da wol be na fo ko no yes the dress he wore the trouser and the shirt are all the same and the hat also the same but the hat looks like a top hat the type of hat which has a long top on on top of the head but these were the things he was wearing with hairs adorned on the top of the uh, hat. What was the color of the dress and the color of 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 the color the dress decorated with anything? It was adorned with uh, mirrors. Alain Simon, you see, 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 Yes, they were holding a big mirror in their hand. In hand. And what were they doing with that mirror? They were holding Well, when they come in, that mirror, they try to face it to any area inside the place they come in. And that's what they did with my place. They took the mirror, pointed, and uh, they pointed it uh, towards the wall and the other areas. They even went into the inner room of the milling machine and, and tried to, and they pointed it towards the surface of the wall and uh, different areas inside the uh, uh, room. And do you know why they were doing this? Well, when they came out from the inner room, I asked them, now, what is it? They said they were looking for that woman, that lady who came in there. I, they said, but they didn't see anything in there. And um, you've already mentioned that you were speaking with them in Fula, is that correct? All what I discussed with them was all in Fula. Did they appear to be speaking um, a Gambian dialect of Fula or did they appear to be Gambian? Please wait for the interpretation. Please wait for the interpretation. Well, that's where the difference lies. The kind of fuller they, sp sp they were speaking is just like Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, and Senegal, different from the Gambian fuller dialect. 
So you did not believe that they were from the Gambia, is that correct? In fact, I teased them there, telling them that you people, you are not fuller, you are bambaras. Do you know where they originated from? I don't know where they originated from. I didn't ask them where they, uh, they hailed from, but I know that they are not Gambian fullers. And you've already said that after they came in looking for this woman and they didn't find, they didn't find her, they left. Can you tell us how many of them initially came? When these two people left, then these three people came back again in 20 minutes' time. I was just trying to ask the initial people who came, how many of them were there? There are two people. And they were all dressed the same? The the same. same. Would you like to speak English, Mr. Sajjah? <laughs> you are responding very well to my questions in English. Please wait for the interpreters. And what time of the day was this when they initially came, those two men? Well, well, I don't have a watch at that time, but I can estimate that by the time the, time the two people came in there was between 10 to 11. And you're saying after they left, um, after 15 or 20 minutes, more of them came back. Yes. Before we get into that, um, it's time for our lunch break. So we'll stop here for now, and then when we come back, you can continue with what happened after those people came. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Over to you. Uh, thank you very much, Emma Kansul, and thank you, Mr. Sajo, for your testimony. We will take a one-hour break, come back at um, 2.30. Meeting is adjourned. Mr. Sajo, Mr.